Hi, my name is Mike Conley of East Bay Property Management, and today we're answering the question, should you market your rental with the current tenant still living there? And there was a time when I managed a lot of houses where the answer to that question was absolutely yes, all the time. And that's because I was so intent on minimizing the vacancy for my owners. And over the years, I've kind of uh, flipped the script on that one. Now I rarely show a home unless it is vacant. I want the tenant to have all, the outgoing tenant to have moved out. And there are three reasons why I take this uh, position. Number one is that you can't show a finished product with the outgoing tenant still living there. You only get one chance to make a first impression. And when you have uh, prospects walking through a house, they don't have great imaginations if they're looking at paint that needs to be changed or flooring that needs to be changed or kitchen cabinets or bathrooms that are going to be updated. There's going to be some rehab work done. They just have a hard time imagining it. And um, it's, it, you're just not able to show a finished product. There's nothing more beautiful than being able to say to a, a prospective tenant, what you see is what you get and you can't show that until the home is ready. The second reason I don't like to show a home with the outgoing tenant still living there is that it will create unmet expectations because you're gonna tell the prospective tenant that the paint's gonna look this way and the flooring will look this way and we're gonna do this to the yards and inevitably almost every time they're gonna move in on that first day and they're gonna call you and say, hey, this isn't what you promised. You said the, the paint was going to be cream and it's mauve and they're going to say, if I'd known it was like this, I wouldn't have rendered it. And you're sitting there going, oh my gosh, what have I got myself into? And so it uh, almost always creates unmet expectations with the incoming tenant and that's not what you want. You want to get off on the right foot with them. The third reason I don't like to show a home with the tenant still there is because you don't know how the tenant is going to show, how the home is going to show with the tenant there. You don't know if there are going to be boxes in the living room and uh, if there are going to be cooking smells throughout the house or if the tenant's a slob or if they're neat. The only exception I will make and show a home with the tenant, outgoing tenant still there, is if I know they're meticulous and they're a minimalist, um, they have very little furniture and they'll take a, a short walk or drive during my 30-minute open house because a lot of tenants won't leave. They'll sit on the sofa and watch uh, your uh, interaction out of the corner of their eye. It's, it's not a good uh, way to show a home. So the, this all begs the question, won't this cause a longer vacancy? And the answer to that is most likely. Yes, it's going to cause a few more days, maybe even a couple of weeks more vacancy. But I assure you, the vacancy is far outweighed by the benefits that I just mentioned. So the way to combat the vacancy is to pre-advertise before the tenant, outgoing tenant moves out coming soon. So you get a lot of interest, a lot of people wanting to see the house. Many will drive by the house. Some will even apply for the house without seeing the inside so that when you do show the home, there you have a lot of people looking at it and uh, you get great credit score, great income, great rental history, and they're able to move in quickly. That's uh, how you select a tenant. So that's uh, the solution to uh, any kind of vacancy. Bottom line is that we don't show a property until it's 100% ready. So I'm Mike Conley, and you can call me at 510-996-3238. Thanks for watching.